When you're done with the video, be sure to head over to the Huffington Post. I have an article that goes more into this relationship cycle. I'll provide you with the link. Hi everyone, this is Rhonda Freeman from Neuro Instincts and welcome back. So today I want to talk to you about the relationship cycle. In this video, you're going to see an illustration of the idealize, devalue, and discard cycle taking place. But also, you're going to see the two phases of a psychopathic relationship. All right, so take a look at the animation.
All right, so you just saw that Jane went through idealized, devalued, discard. She was put on a pedestal and love bombed and groomed and then we saw that her partner completely lost interest and then he got interested again and then he lost interest again and we kind of went through this up and down up and down up and down and in the meantime Jane was going through a great deal of pain in my opinion from a neurobiological standpoint we're looking at the reward system of the brain in two different phases for the person with psychopathy the person with psychopathy when their reward system is activated which tends to be pretty hypersensitive for people with psychopathy. And by the way, the reward system is a system of our brain that's associated with um, lust and attraction and it's exciting, you know, it's our, this is the system that gets us going. It's the system that we all have that allows us to get attracted to new people and it's awesome. And this system is absolutely required and needed for us to kind of pursue mates. Their system tends to be hypersensitive, so we see that in their intensity when they're pursuing somebody and they get all consumed and they get addicted to that person. So that's phase one, in my opinion. That's phase one. Then, like with everyone's reward system, it can't sustain that high level of addiction and attraction long term. It tends to kind of fade away. And for the rest of us, we go into the next stage, which is the bonding, comfortable, relaxing part you know the part where you with your partner and literally you can just sit there and watch netflix and eat popcorn and cuddle and be absolutely content because that feels good well they tend not to go to that step bonding stage because people with psychopathy they cannot bond and so after the heightened 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 uh chemistry of dopamine is kind of all worn down for them they're left with nothing and so they look at you like hmm you know, this is kind of boring. What am I gonna do here? Um, guess I'll keep her, well no, I'll cheat. Let me go and get more stimulation. Let me go find something fun to do. And so this is when maybe they'll cheat or they'll start treating you badly. And this is the second phase because the second phase is the reward system's kind of in off mode for them when it comes to you. You're not new anymore. You're not the sort of shiny new object. And so they're done with it. And that's when you see who they really are. For many people, they say for this phase two that I'm describing that the mask is off. Well, to me, I think of it as the dopamine uh, reward system kind of shut off or went to a, a lower mode. And when it goes to that lower mode, that's when you see the dark traits of the character. And it tends not to come back. They rarely come back to that first stage because it's real hard to recapture that super excited dopamine rush stage that we have in the beginning. It really is tough for any of us to recapture that. And so I don't necessarily say that that's a bad thing that they can't recapture it because really none of us can so easily. But the thing with the partner who has bonded to them is that that partner, if they don't have psychopathy or a disorder, they have moved on to the bonding stage with somebody else, or rather with somebody who can't. So you have someone who has bonded and you have someone who is in an off stage when it comes to the reward system. These two people are at two different places neurobiologically and it's just not gonna work not gonna work and so I think that the idealized the value discard is a great description of the relationship cycle but I also think the two phases of the reward system is also a good description of what's going on with regard to psychopathy so as always I hope we can get some studies done out there so we can see if my hypothesis is, is, is true because you know you, you know me guys I come up with hypotheses and I'm like throwing it out there to the scientific community hoping that you know somebody does a study on it so this is one I would love to see a study done on all right take care